Welcome to SoCast Live Episode 5. This is Luke Hembacher, and with us today we have Rev. Hey, what's going on, guys? And Mr. David Dole. What's going on? War Machine. Oh, yeah. And Domino99. Why am I the last guy? Like, seriously. <laughs> and this week we're going to talk about the all-new SOCOM 4 Demolition DLC. And I guess what we're going to do here is just have a quick roundtable discussion on our overall thoughts of the uh, the DLC. And we'll start with you, Ref. I can, I can pretty much sum it up for you in two words. Too late. <laughs> 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 but nice. I mean, I mean, what it is though, I, I do I do like what they've added. Uh, I, I do like uh, a few of the maps, the new maps, the two new maps that we can talk about here in a minute. I do like those. But and uh, in terms of like the old maps, I really don't like. To be honest, I don't like the ruins. It it feels really odd. It doesn't feel like it doesn't feel like old school ruins at all. But on the other hand, bitter jungle feels like it's like one of the best remakes i've seen ever to be honest in a socom game i think it's awesome all right what about you david uh i agree with rev i think the the ruins it feels like you're a miniature dude playing on a big map that the the middle of that map for some reason there's some gigantic arch that i've never seen before in the ruins and there's like this gigantic arch in the middle of the map it's spaced out too yeah it's it's just way too spaced it's out. weird i mean it, it doesn't really feel like the ruins to be honest but uh Bitter Jungle is actually pretty sweet. Um, the one new map that I played, I, I haven't played uh, Overflow, but uh, Departure, I played a bit of that. It, it seemed all right. I mean, it's kind of straightforward. But uh, I mean, overall, it's, it, it seems like a good good amount of DLC. But again, I, it's it's too late, pretty much. It's just too late. Mm -hmm. War Machine. Uh, yeah, I agree with the last two guys, but I want to add something about the ruins. I think there's also an aspect, the fact that you see like all that crap on the outside of the map that it's, it looks like you're in that bottomless pit where sacrifice, you could fall off the map. And like at the bottom of that pit where you fall off the map was actually where the ruins was. And uh, it kind of seems like you're playing in the same area as sacrifice because you see those buildings and stuff on the outside. I don't know why, but I feel like it takes away from the feel of the map. I hate it. And, um,. <laughs> But I do agree that Bitter Jungle, honestly, uh, minus a couple of things that like really can't really complain about anything with it. But I think Bitter Jungle, if we were to see a SOCOM 2 HD, um, that's pretty close to how I would envision some of the maps looking. That's exactly how I envision it. Bitter Jungle, that's like SOCOM yeah. 2 HD if they were to have it right there. It's perfect how you said that. And, and it's really fun to play. Like The, the obvious... Like thing that makes it fun is just the structure of the maps is finally in a way that's conducive to the old style of play, and it's not cluttered with too much uh, shrubbery. I, w I will say that overflow, overflow feels like uh, this the fluid dynamics from the single player. If you guys remember that uh, area or uh, chapter, uh, and then uh, meets like Frostfire. It's like a combo of the two. Like it's got the tone of Frostfire. But then it's got like all of like the buildings and whatnot from Fluid Dynamics. And I think well, it's pretty cool. I like it. I, I like how. That. Huh? What about what about you, Domino? Yeah, I've uh, played Overflow and uh, what Rev said. It reminds me of uh, Frostfire, and uh, Frostfire uh, was one of my favorite maps. And yeah, it's really good. And uh, yeah, they took some parts from uh, Fluid Dynamics. And yeah, it's it's really it kind of gives me a SOCOM feel. I wish they had released that map in the beginning. Well, that's about all the time that we have for this episode. Next week, we are going to be tackling a lot of other games aside from SOCOM, so you don't want to miss that new episode. As always, this has been Luke Mbacher, Rev, David Dole, War Machine, Domino 99, and we will catch you next time. That was close, huh? Our involvement in the rebuilding process will give us a foothold in this region. If you're gearing up for one of your I'm too old for this speech is spare. I gave you a direct order to extract. Had you followed those orders, we wouldn't be in this situation. Yeah, so? It has taken me years to plan this operation. <laughs> this funny. You find this funny? Oh, what's up? Do you need me to call you butler? Oh, no. Oh, you remember me. I'm touched. 
You find this funny? <sighs> Come on, Sully, you're strong as an ox. Your family destroyed mine. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Let's just call this good old-fashioned revenge. Here. You find this funny? It almost worked.